since like freaking seven six o'clock as usual i can never sleep in um ava woke up twice um to check up if i was still home i'm like of course i am i told her to go back to bed we stayed pretty late um she's on winter break so i let it slide she watched like three different movies and she was so into it i freaking fell asleep on her on the couch many times until i was like okay let's go to bed Ava. it's time she's like okay mom but um today's picture day and she's also getting her covid shot after her first series and i'm gonna ask her if she wants to go to ihop or eat something out before i drop her off so and the weather's not that bad it's um the sun's trying to come out but at least it's not gloomy gloomy and just raining i'll take that but i'm, I'm eating breakfast and i did all the dishes it's cleared i wiped down last night too so um it's not immaculate but it's decent and i picked up most of the stuff it was still trying to learn um she did a pretty good job yesterday after telling her over and over again and i checked um she picked up all the stuff i told her to it's just i have to repeat to her and she gets her attention span is very short it um i guess it's kids are like that um i have to keep like repeating to her like eva you need to clean you need to clean when you go into the next game or toy or whatever you need to clean once you're done playing okay and we're not gonna play the next game until you're done She's like, why, mom? Anyway, I'm gonna chill, eat my cup of noodles, and watch some atypical. Ava's getting Santa pics today. And I don't want shots. I, well, I know, I'm sorry. And getting a COVID shot, okay. Yeah, I always get okay, 19, what's in the 19? Maybe it's chipstick, I'm not sure. What's in there? <gasps> Smile. Oh, it's a hair tie. Oh, we got two in there, look. I know. Ew. Awesome, we can keep it here. And then let's see what, um, your book, get your book. We'll keep it here until I see you on Thursday. I'm gonna miss you, booby. Where's number 19, honey? You got so many books. And then we can bake Christmas cookies for Santa on Thursday night. Or Friday, actually, Friday. Friday night, we're gonna have a party. I see a tree. Oh, okay, pour it out. Go oh, this way, hard to see you. I just had to rip. Mm hmm. What the? What's that? What is that? Coal? Oh, lump of coal. How cute. Hey guys, just dropped stuff at my parents' house. Um, I uh, got some chili for my stepdad too. He'll eat it. On our way to the mall, Ava sent the pics. Um, we scheduled it for 2 o'clock. And um, after that, um, I don't know, we're gonna chill because her uh, shot time is at four o'clock. I'm not sure if we'll have time to eat right after the picture, depending. I'm sure it'll be fast. And then um, we might go to the movies, not sure. But you guys just got a text another person that I work with COVID. What in the heck? Now I'm getting paranoid. Ever since I found out everyone is just getting sick around me and testing positive, I've been like self-medicating -medic myself and using a lot of airborne. Um, I've been using it every other day, but you guys know I got my booster yesterday and I had like a little cold for like two days or whatever and it passed. And only reason now I feel like I'm coughing off and on is because of the heat and the allergies or if I smell something and you know my sciences are up because of the cold weather and all that stuff so I'm just paranoid I'm kind of glad that I'm not going to see Ava again until um Thursday in case something is wrong with me I'm not with her for that amount of days but still it's like uh, you feel fine Ava mm -hmm. now I'm getting all paranoid so we're, the rest of us are gonna get tested again and I think I should too just in case but it's like before Christmas and my poor friend prayers to her we're not close on anything but no one deserves to go through this stuff it's horrible and it's right for the holidays she just had so many stuff going on bam 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 within the week last week yeah it's 
a lot of stuff going with her, her family. Just, yeah. And I'm having a headache because I'm overthinking now. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know. But you guys, I don't know. It's, it's not going to get better if people would just sit still, don't travel, get the shot, practice proper hygiene. We're all guilty of being careless. But this is not, it's not going to go away the way we are going. It's not. And Ohio is like, I believe, the top number six or seven in the United States that got a um, high in people with COVID and this Omicron stuff. It's depressing me. All right, I'm just glad this week is slow. I just can't remember who has what or what. I'm just, I'm tired of covering. I'm tired of covering. I'm exhausted because I, I feel like I'm the one that's gonna be doing the most. All right, check guys later. Come on, baby, get dressed. Let me see. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dog and then ready. Yes, Ava's gonna get her first series. COVID shot. She's getting nervous. It's almost time, baby. Miss Ava just got her shot and we're getting ready to go into IHOP. She did a great job. She said, ow. She got a cool sticker, cool band-aid, and a lollipop. Are you okay though? Yeah. Oh. Show them what. Yeah, go show them the shot. Eh. Oh yeah. Can I get a whole yeah? Oh yeah, chubby daddy. Can I get a whole yeah? Oh yeah. Chitty, chitty. <laughs> Hi, Eva. Oh, it smells so good. It's good. Hey guys, I just got home. It's uh, about to be 7 30. Um, we were gonna go to the movies, but I was exhausted and I was like getting nervous about COVID and stuff. So I told Ava we'll go on Thursday or Friday since we're off Friday. Um, yep, I'm missing Ava. We went back to my parents' house and um, played and spent some time. My parents are kind of weird. But anyway, I'm so glad to be able to, to go to a separate place to chill and not be around that awkwardness. It, it's off and on, you guys. Nothing has changed. But, um... It was okay. She did go to her shot. I keep asking if she's okay, if she's in pain, or if she feels anything different. Um, I'm feeling kind of like, eh. But, and I told you guys, I've been self-medicating myself because everyone is sick. And now, to find out someone has COVID, and I'm kind of nervous. So, I'm going to take a long shower again. I took one this morning, and I'm going to... I got some more airborne. I left the other one at work. And, um, yeah, we're gonna take that and just lay in bed and relax and stuff. So, I'm gonna hide in my room in some PJs. Yay! Hope you guys are all safe. And let me show you. I have a bump. I feel like, uh, I don't know. I got a bump with the last COVID shot. I got a bump with the flu shot, the one last year. And I feel like, I don't know if it's changed. I haven't given injections to people in a long time because I'm in cardiac now. I'm not in fine practice anymore. It's been a few years, but I feel like every time I get a shot, it's always up so high. But let me show you. Look guys, that's my injection side. It was like that last time too. And that's my shoulder. And I feel like it could have been like right here at least, not all the way up here. And it shot so close, I don't know if you can tell, but you know how when you're an immigrant and that shot that leaves you a mark? I can't remember what exactly, what kind of injection it is, but that, you know, it's like a big ass bump that leaves you a scar and you use like a prong or something back in the day. I don't know if you guys can see where it is. I'm trying to look. Yeah, she, she gave the shot close to that bump. Like, why? Oh, and it's so high. Look, my shoulder. It should have been like down here. 